Hi everyone, today's video is about the Google Cybersecurity Certification. This certification is a beginner certification, and I'm going to go over that and just talk about the specifics and whether or not I think this is worth it. So let's get started. Um, as far as the Google certification, um, I do highly recommend this certification for those who are beginners. Um, getting into the field or even those that just want to brush up on their skills. Um, I think it's very valuable and I think it's very cost effective as well. So um, if you want to go ahead and find information about that, I'm going to put the link below. It is available on Coursera. And basically, one of the things that I do like about this, it uh, differentiates itself some, from some other uh, certifications, is it has some labs. It contains labs, which I think are very, very useful. Um, as far as the course, now you can take a free trial on Coursera. And um, the free trial is, I believe, for a week. And then after that, it's, it's something like uh, $49 which is really, really inexpensive. So you can enroll for free right here. And then after that, you go ahead and I think it's $49 if I am correct. So, so basically, um, it, it begins, the introduction begins where they discuss um, what exactly um, cybersecurity uh, analysts, for example, do. There's a few videos on that kind of get you involved and um, lets you understand whether or not cybersecurity is for you and, and what the course entails. Um, and another thing I do want to mention is the course covers networking and it covers networking very effectively. In fact, um, I find the networking part of the course to be easy to understand and it's very similar to what you would get in, let's say, if you took the uh, network CompTIA networking um, uh, course, the certification, and um, it just kind of implements that in cybersecurity. It makes it more fun. So for those of you who are um, required to get, you know, the A plus, for example, um, I think that this is comprehensive enough where you don't need to go that route just to get that. Not to mention all these certifications; they add up. So you get the CompTIA Security Plus, then you get you know the A Plus, and before you know it, it's six seven hundred dollars. Um, now I'm not saying don't get the Security Plus, which is a great entry level certification. Um, I am saying that this I think is a starting point because once you go through this course, I believe the Security Plus just maybe a little bit touching up on some of your notes, and you'll be able to pass the Security Plus. So I just wanted to mention that. I think that that's very, very important. Another thing is, as I mentioned before, the labs. So the labs, um, which contain Python, SQL, Linux, are really hands-on, very easy to understand. And I think that alone, if, if you're not going to take anything in the course and you just want to go ahead and get some hands-on experience with some Linux, Python, and SQL, I would say do that. Let's say you already have your certifications, you just want to brush up. Hey, again, cheap, ineffective way to go ahead and do some practicing. Now, that doesn't mean that there's not other online um, inexpensive ways to learn. I mean, there's some really good websites out there where you can uh, learn courses. But this is, again, well organized and it is very comprehensive. And at the end, you are going to go ahead with the paid uh, subscription, of course, get your certification. Now, they are saying six months at seven hours a week. I would say that's kind of ridiculous to drag this out over six months. I would say get this thing over with and done with in two to four weeks, which I think is very feasible. It's not difficult. Immerse yourself, do it, put in the three, four hours a day. Okay, worst case scenario, put in two hours a day, but keep it consistent, keep it daily. This way it stays in your mind and you're not forgetting stuff. It'll be much easier to go ahead and get through this course. So overall, um, another thing I do want to mention is some people like, well, what does Google know about cybersecurity? Well, Google 
owns a company, I think they paid like $5 billion, it's called Mandiant, and that company actually um, develops solar winds. So you have a Google who definitely would like to see people get involved with cybersecurity and may end up employing some of those individuals one day. Whatever the reason, yes, they do have the backing of a major um, cybersecurity company that they own. So don't underestimate Google as being a very um, good source to go ahead and develop this and put the certifications out. Now, as far as human resource departments in big companies are concerned, are they going to look and see this as a bonus? Whether or not they are or not, this is a very new course. It's for you, it's for your knowledge, and the fact that this is gonna go ahead and help you to pass the Securities Plus, get hands-on experience, put this on your resume, I think alone is very important. So once again, my suggestion, take this course if you are um, one of those people out there that's entry level, doesn't have any certifications. I would say make this your first certification, and at the same time, what do you have to lose? $50 a month, let's say you, you get this certification after two months, a hundred dollars. I mean, if you're going to go out and take the security plus test, I think that's like $400. Um, so I do have my 601 security plus and, um, that one right there is a lot more comprehensive than the 501. So that studying for that is going to take, in my opinion, a lot longer, but this is a fun course. Take this course. You'll be happy you did. And, uh, I'll put the link below. All right. So I hope this helped you to make your decision. Entry level, absolutely 100% take this. It is well worth it. Take care, everybody.